The man who headed Vancouver's Winter Olympics is speaking out in his own defense. For the past year, John Furlong has been fighting accusations of sexual assault that date back to the 1970s. Now, Global News has learned the RCMP have concluded their investigation into one of those complaints and found nothing. Furlong sat down with Global BC anchor Chris Galis to talk about how the allegations have affected his life. <laughs> He was once the face of the Vancouver Olympics, but John Furlong says over the past year, he's been living the worst possible nightmare. To sit in a room with an RCMP officer and be investigated and ask questions about something like this is the worst experience of my entire life. To actually sit there and have an officer look me in the eye and ask me the kind of things that we're talking about now. I mean, it was sickening. Furlong is facing lawsuits by three former students who say he sexually abused them while teaching at a Catholic elementary school in Burns Lake more than four decades ago. The lawsuits follow allegations in a Vancouver newspaper that Furlong physically assaulted a total of eight former students, claims Furlong denied in a lawsuit of his own. Furlong's been under the microscope for more than a year now, but tells Global News the RCMP have cleared his name in at least one case. In April this year, the, the police gave me a note saying that they had found nothing. And I think they've, you know, continued their due diligence and at some point in the near future they will issue a report. I think they've done a thorough job. In their letter to Furlong's lawyer, the RCMP say they'll not be recommending any charges to Crown Counsel with respect to sexual abuse claims made by Beverly Abraham. We are done with this. This is over. I'm not going to put another second into, into this. I'm going to move it on, as I've said, by escalating this case and exposing this and try to get on with my life. But Abraham says she's devastated. My heart is just beating so fast, like not with anger or anything, but I'm just so heartbroken right now. Abraham's lawyer has filed a complaint that the RCMP were biased in their investigation. But Furlong says, as far as he's concerned, this case is closed. And Chris Galis joins me now. Chris, why is Furlong speaking out now? Well, very simply, Donna, he feels enough is enough. He plans to escalate his defamation lawsuit against the journalist who first wrote about the allegations in Burns Lake alleging that she continues, even to this day, to harass him and his colleagues and friends. And late today, RCMP stated to us that the file does remain open at this time as they continue to investigate other claims in her statement of defense. The full interview is available on our website, and Furlong himself will release a statement tomorrow morning. All right, Chris Galis, thanks.